This is Vespera, a compact and automated smart telescope built to be easy to use and produce images of the night sky of your desired target. I have to be honest, we got some great pictures while filming this review. And at first, I truly did not expect these results from Vespera. This review will be centered on imaging with Vespera. To learn more about the overall concept of this telescope, please first watch our Stellina review. This is a cat. And this is a Spera, a smart telescope. And they're both very different. One is black, the other one is white, one is alive, and one is not alive, and one has questionable intelligence, and the other is very smart. But they share two similarities. They're both about the same weight and size. And honestly, a telescope that is the same weight and size of a cat deserves to be reviewed. And we are reviewing Vespera, Veonis' newest telescope, after Stellina. We reviewed Stellina in the past. The video itself was well received, but the product, despite being very popular, also got a lot of harsh comments, especially about its price tag of $4,000. With Vespera, Veonis decided to make another great product at a more affordable price. So, let's learn about Vespera and test it out. Successor to Stellina, Vespera is an all-in-one astronomy imaging system. It is a combination of a telescope, mount, camera, and computer. Vespera captures images and stacks the data to create images that you can see right from your phone through an app. It has its own Wi-Fi, so you can connect to Vespera from pretty much anywhere, even in places without service. Because it's an automated system, all you have to do is set it up, turn it on, choose your target, and start imaging. It effectively eliminates the learning curve that all astrophotographers struggle with when they start their journey. We made a full unboxing video for Vespera. But in short, what comes in the box are Vespera A protective sleeve A welcome pamphlet The tripod The magnetic charger cable And a bubble level For this review, we were provided Vespera with all the bells and whistles from Veronis. So we have several accessories, like filters, a hygrometer, and the official backpack. While it is available for purchase, know that these do not come in the box. The backpack has been specifically designed for Vespera, and that will make carrying the telescope around much easier. The backpack is a must for anyone planning to take Vespera on a plane. It also has zipper pouches and compartments inside to place Vespera and any accessories like filters, a tripod, etc. safely. The filters currently available are a light pollution filter for imaging broadband targets from the city, a dual band narrow band filter, good for emission nebulae, and a solar filter, because you can also do solar imaging with a Spera. For an extra $99, a hygrometer is a very small device that measures the level of humidity in the air in real time. It attaches near Vespera's lens and will help prevent moisture from forming on the optics. You might consider it especially if you live in a humid climate. The lens is an apple chromatic quadruplet made of lanthanum glass. So this ensures that the colors of your stars and your target are natural and free from chromatic aberration. Vespera has an aperture of 50 millimeters and a focal length of 200 millimeters and a fast focal ratio of f4. So Vespera weighs 11 pounds, which is 5 kilograms. It comes with an IMX 462 CMOS Sony sensor that has a resolution of 2 million pixels. It has a field of view of 1.6 times 0.9 degrees. Uh, Vespera can save your images in JPEG, TIFF, and FITS format, which allows you to process your images uh, on your computer if you want to. So, what target are we imaging tonight? So it is the end of summer, so there are plenty of targets to image. Uh, I'm thinking of NGC 7380, which is the Wizard Nebula. That's a pretty good one. So what makes it a good target for us? So the Wizard Nebula um, is in Cepheus, which is uh, going to be high in the sky for a long time tonight. It has a decent size and is neither an easy or a difficult target, which is 
perfect was his test. So let's give it a go. So first things first, setup. The setup was easy, because all we had to do was to screw on the tripod to the bottom of Espera and attach the bubble level. Simple. You'll need to level Vespera so that you can make sure it's stabilized when it calibrates. Besides that, that's it. No need to align or anything. It'll do it all by itself. See, we told you it was smart. Last but not least, you will have to download the app Singularity, which is free. We won't go into specifics in this video, but you can look into the app further in our blog post. What you should know is that there are four tabs and each has a function to help you throughout your imaging session. The first, initialization. This is the starting point for each use. Second, catalog. This is where you can view a library of objects to slew to. The third, planning. You can set up a plan to capture multiple objects in one evening. And the fourth, profile, where you can view a gallery of images that you captured. So, now that we've gotten everything underway, we wait. Technically, it would be better for us to use the narrowband filter for this target, especially from home. But let's assume you have not purchased the filters and want to see what Vespera can do from a wide zone, bottle 9, without any. Every 10 seconds, a new image will come through the lens and the internal processing software will stack the data live. As time passes, you'll see your target go from fuzzy and faint to clear and luminous. Here is our finished JPEG image right out of the app. We charged Vespera using the magnetic charger the next morning and decided to use the narrowband filter to image the fish head nebula at night. The details and the colors are really good, but you can see some circular artifacts here and there. After talking with Veonis, this is a rare occurrence that happens during the automatic processing due to the derotation. They apparently are working on a fix for this. Sadly, this was our first night with Aspera, and we did not realize that by default, the raw data is not kept in the system. You can turn this on in the settings and it will save the TIFF files so that you can manually process the data yourself on your computer. Don't worry though, we did activate this before shooting our next targets, and oh, we are glad we did. We removed the filter and drove two hours to a dark site in the desert to image the Andromeda galaxy. After 90 minutes, this is what Vespera exported as a JPEG. I grabbed the raw data and spent a few minutes on PixInsight working on the image, and got something much, much better. We decided to image in narrowband from our white zone backyard and spent a bit of time on both M16 and M17. We honestly are very impressed. Oh, and by the way, these were taken when the moon was high in the sky. This moon was also shot with Vespera, as well as Jupiter and Saturn. Don't expect the planets to look good using this telescope. It really is not meant for that. These images look very similar to what you would get with a basic DSLR camera and telephoto lens. So we are clearing the path so we can set up over there where it's flat with a nice view all around and tonight once it's dark we'll freeze to death but we'll be able to try Vespera with a nice view on all west, north, south and east. It's cold. I'm no weather expert but <laughs> it's cold. It is about four degrees. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> So right now, so every 10 seconds, it takes a picture, okay? And this is the Orion Nebula, see? Oh. So like every, so right now it's 1 minute and 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And every 10 seconds, it's taking a new one, so we can stack it together, so it makes it better and better and better. And here, see, if you use your fingers, you can see like the very first frame, see, it was very dim. And now it, whoops, it gets better and better and better. It's crazy, right? Yeah. <sighs> So you could wait like two hours on three hours. We won't do it tonight because it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> it will get better and better and better. Okay, so I'm going to try to image a, a dim target. So I'm going to try the Flaming Star Nebula uh, for about maybe an hour while we eat. And then I'm going to bring everyone outside and ask how they feel about it and see uh, what their unbiased mind 
think about this smart telescope because I know that in this you know review world we can be biased and all that so hopefully I will have no say in this okay so we brought it back inside we spent two minutes on the Orion Nebula and 20 minutes on the Fleming Star Nebula so look look at those two pictures well I mean it was very uh, easy and painless to just uh, click on a star or nebula that you wanted to see and then you have this immediately you know after your wait time you know mm -hmm. pretty cool yeah. you don't have to sit outside with a telescope and you know here it was really cold outside yeah, so we were able minutes. to you know stand inside and then afterwards and you're like oh hey cool yeah the it's most a... painful part of the process was just being outside in the cold so. yeah <laughs> the setup process yeah but even though i know you said that it's kind of cheating for the orion it's, it's, very, bright, it's yeah. very bright it only took about two minutes yeah yeah it was pretty quick to find, so that's really impressive. Okay, what would you pay to get this if you had to buy? It? If you guess the price of this, yeah. by the, the way. price is right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the price is right. If, if the first one, yeah, the first one that I saw, um, and then, then there's this one, um, which is a little more compact and everything. Um, let's let's go to two thousand. Okay. So what are the pros and cons of Vespera? Let's go with the pros first. So, pro. There is minimal to no challenge on how to operate this thing. It effectively has no learning curve, making it really easy for somebody to just pick up and start using. Also another pro, it's smaller. So it is way more compact and lightweight than Stellina was, making it extremely portable, and that allows you to put it into your backpack, which is very, very cool. Uh, it also has a built-in power source, which is another pro. And the app, it's very easy to use. So, what are the cons? Okay, I'm the bad guy here, so I'm gonna go over the cons. Uh, we have three things we didn't like about Vespera. Uh, number one, the tripod is a bit difficult to remove afterwards because the base of the telescope will rotate with it. So it's kind of scary because you have to put a hand by the base while unscrewing the tripod. So it's gonna be a bit scary, but it's kind of minimal. Swivels um, a bit. Yeah. Number two is um, a bit annoying if you like to process your own images. When you want to transfer your files from Vespera to your laptop or PC, um, your computer, you will have to use Wi-Fi only. There is no way to plug a USB in there. Uh, so you will have to connect through Wi-Fi. And for that, it has to be the dedicated Wi-Fi. So you will have to turn off your home Wi-Fi so you can't use the internet while it's transferring. And if you have plenty of files, like if you imaged all night long, then it will take a long kind of time. So you will have a, a long time while it's transferring without being able to use the internet. And then lastly, the last thing we did not like, uh, it kind of drives us crazy <laughs> because in this review, uh, with you know, us filming this review, it happened like a thousand a times. A couple of times. So many times. The on off, like, you know, touch screen thingy is very sensitive, so, it will happen for sure that you will just try to grab it and accidentally it's going to turn on. That is super annoying, but I have talked to Vianis and they said they're working on something. They will be able to try to maybe like add um, a feature like you, know, you have to hold it to turn it on. So it's very simple to fix for them, I think, uh, if they can, because it's just like software stuff. So hopefully it will be fixed. But right now, if you just slightly touch it, uh, if put you your graze hand over it, it just it a little on. bit, it'll start yeah. glowing blue. But hopefully it will be fixed in the future. So our final thought, this conclusion is the same as the one from uh, Stellina. Vespera is great if you don't want to bother with a difficult rig and you know all cables and all that. Um, it's very simple to use, but of course a dedicated Astro rig will of course make you know, give you the best results. Um, it has its up and downs for sure. But for you know basic imaging and discovering the the hobby, this is great if you if you're kind of afraid to dig into a, a full astro setup for now. So we'll see you guys next time and class guys.